Good evening. How y'all doing out there? What's happening? Let's be here tonight. It's going to be about that place called Woods uh, Cheese Steakhouse in Atlanta. Uh, Buckethead House or some crap. That's some garbage it is. Anyway, the black woman went there to go eat. And the receipt said darky on there. Now, sometimes when people give up a name or something just to call out someone's name, if you worked in food service or something, you may take a name. If you got two people with the same name, you take a name because you don't want to mix up the food. Someone steals someone's food. You know, out of respect. Or if you know the person or you can remember what they're wearing or, you know, in case they go to the bathroom or they get a call. So, you know, things happen. Keep their food warm. You know, memory. But the employee put Darky on there and did not apologize. I'm not shocked or surprised. And I'm being, I'm going to keep it 100. Since the pandemic, I boycott, I have not gone to anybody's restaurant. I don't eat out at all. I don't trust these people's silverware. And I don't eat that garbage. A lot of had that artificial food either. You see, because a lot of that food is contaminated and it's filed and it's vile. And then you come to find out a lot of people that are behind it are filing vile too because you think that with a shutdown which happened and hit a lot of places, people would be more welcome, receptive. But they've come back more racist, more stingy, more stank, and more hateful. Why would you give them your business? You know. I say, I tell you all the time, learn how to cook. Take care of yourself. Be self-sufficient. Places is overpriced, overhyped. And you get stank attitude, and you still got to deal with the uh, the grandchildren of Jim Crowism. Why would you want to put yourself through that, really? And to be called darky? This 2023? Not 1953 in Georgia, not 1963 in Georgia, not 1973 in Georgia, not even 1983 in Georgia. Still saying darky? Hmm. See, I remember this happened a couple years ago with uh, NBA legend Dominique Wilkins. He got hit with that stuff. So Georgia ain't this mecca that they make it out to be this, you know. That's where Ahmaud Arbery, Ash- Ashbury Arbery got lynched with them three Klansmen. And only because his mama pushed the video that they got charges. They did not go after that DA who was trying to cover for McMichaels and his son and that goober, that other that white boy who got caught accessory. But the bottom line is this, Georgia being racist and eateries. Georgia being racist, period, is duh. Why are you supporting places anyway? Unless you're using your app. But let's, uh, really, why? Learn how to cook, take care of yourself. Stay out of these uh, places that don't pay the employees good wages to live on. Serve garbage food. Unless it was a healthy delicatessen place. And you know if you want to get plant-based or health food, they're going to charge it on the way for good tofu. A tofurkey. That's going to be on the lead. But when someone disrespects you racially, boycott that place and tell everybody about it because I'm going to let it be known. Boycott Woods Cheese Steak, Buckethead, Buckethead, wherever that joint is in Atlanta, boycott them. Let them know. Let them know. So you're going to call somebody darky. Well, you're about to see the light. You're not going to see no more money. Now, see how dark their days get in your whack establishment, your racist Jim Crow Confederate flag, jive turkey self having self. But it's time to eat better and leave the cow manure and the cow, what the cows left behind in them dumps. You know, it's time to learn how to cook. You want to go through all this stuff with people being half hearted and disrespecting you racially? Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share the video if you like. And I'm out. Peace.